Happy National Bathtub Safety Month. Be safe in the tub while watching Explore Tulsa. And this time we start the show with people who are cold. Then a rising star. Followed by the good old days. Plus shopping in case you have any Christmas cash left. Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It's wonderful to have you back with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Stevie, why are you wearing a hat? This week we celebrate National Hat Day, and I love me some hats. Mm, hats have been a big part of history since 3200 BC. That's when they found the first painting of a man wearing a coolie straw hat in the Thebes tomb. And through the years, hats have been worn as fashion statements as well as marks of social status. Well, in your case, the hat just hides the point at the top of your head. Hats also keep heat from escaping from your body. The folks at the Tater Polar Bear Plunge should have taken your advice. Polar bear events are a New Year's tradition for people all over the world. And Tater Racing has made sure that Tulsa wasn't left behind with their latest polar bear plunge taking place at Lifetime Fitness. Torture. Torture, yeah, exactly. Hopefully we get numb quickly and then we won't feel it. Oh, there's no words! This is freezing! Yeah, worst thing ever! It takes your breath away, it's so cold. The first plunge is the worst. But it is, that, you come up cursing like a sailor. <laughs> Holy moly, it is bad. It's breathtaking. <laughs> you, you, you seriously feel like you can't breathe and you, you think you're going to die for a minute there. But if, if it comes back and you're all numb and the rest of it is just easy. Well, it's just a new year. It's a new chance to start over, get off on the right foot, do something fun, be a little crazy. I came to peer pressure. My <laughs> friend's getting ready to move and she said, do this with me. It's our like, last hurrah before I move. Yeah, so why not go out? Go big, go home, right? <laughs> the energy, the energy of the crowd and it makes you, it reminds you you're alive in a big way. Oh, big time. <laughs> yeah, he talked me into it. Last year was like 40 some degrees and that was cool. This year, it's just cold. It's like 20 some degrees, it's raining, you can see the rain right there. I, I came in first today. It, it was just super fun and I, I, I just wanted to run fast to get warmed up, I think. Actually, a buddy of mine originated it about seven years ago. It was just a little, we would wade down into the Arkansas River, do a barrel roll and then I turned it into a, a real race with the pools and stuff. You know, we just wanted some kind of New Year's tradition that would start people off in a healthy way, something kind of wild and crazy to start their year off on a good note, something to get them outside their comfort zone, and we just kept adding to it. We, we thought, you know, give them a great big old huge medal, make them jump into ice cold water. They'll do anything for that medal and those bragging rights that they get, so. If you want the medal, you gotta go deep. You gotta dig deep within your soul. You gotta dig deep in the pool. At the end, you get that medal, and that's what it's all about. Not pride, not glory, the medal. Nothing's yeah. huge. Have you seen that thing? It's monstrous. They ran about a half mile, then they plunged into the water, ran another half mile in clothes that are just sticking to them and just oh so cold. Then they plunge again, run another half mile, and then the last plunge, they get their huge seven and a half inch metal off the bottom of the pool. So they ended up running about a mile and a half, I believe. Uh, it's a great time to think. I love, I, I love that, I love um, being outside be moving around, being active, I think that's really important. So both mentally and physically and running, it's a great, great opportunity for that. The slide, yes, yes. We weren't even gonna do it this year because of construction where we usually have it. But Lifetime approached us and said we could have it here. They even offered to let us use the slide and people loved that slide. It was a lot of fun. You know, the slide could be good. I mean, at that point, you probably got the adrenaline pumping. You know, you got the, uh, we got ice water in our veins at that point. So the slide's gonna just be game time, you know? You 
know, I want people to, to leave from here knowing that running is fun. Running doesn't have to be what you did in school or your drill master had you do. Running is fun. This is fun. So many people ran today, they didn't even realize they were running. They were just having so much fun. So just a fun aspect, and you know, they may run the rest of their life because of this event. So. Oh, Trisha, it was so cold out there that lawyers had their hands in their own pockets. <laughs> if you'd like to take part in next year's Polar Bear Plunge or would like to get ready for other runs, visit tater.org. People were out there without shirts on like it was the heat of summer. Maybe they were just acting like it didn't bother them. The only person I know that can act that good is Tulsa's own Taylor Mosby. And we'll see how Hollywood's treating Taylor when we return with more Explore Tulsa. Ever since the first movie theaters opened in the early 1900s, man has been trying everything to bring that same experience home to enjoy with their families. And for more than 30 years, Video Revolution and their home entertainment experts have been making those dreams come true by designing custom home theater solutions for both in and outdoor use. From 1080p LEDs to the brand new Sony 4K flat panel TVs, or come in to see the latest in sound bars and surround sound setups, Always the top name brands are found at Video Revolution. That same electronic expertise we also apply to your business communications network. From boardroom automation to video wall presentations. No matter what technology the future holds, you can count on Video Revolution to be leading the way. Tulsa's headquarters for the best selection and installation of cutting edge electronics. Video Revolution on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Hey, it's Stevie from Explore Tulsa with my friend and optometrist for many years, Dr. Robert Zellner. Tell everybody why it's so good to come in to see you. <laughs> well, that's a great question. Let's see, we've got two great locations. We try to stay cutting edge at every point along the way because let's face it, everybody wants to come in and get taken care of in a timely fashion and get the latest, greatest stuff and save some money and get on with their life. And, and, see, and see clearly. And if you don't believe it, look on the website. Absolutely, drzellner.com. You can find that we have our two locations at 69th and Memorial and 30, 3030 South Harvard, or you can give us a call at 749-2020 or 461-2020. And I got four kids, and I gotta tell you, as a big family like that, it's affordable too. Oh yes, and of course, the number one reason, you save some money. I mean, with our two pair specials, with our uh, different unique packages that we put together, I mean, you can come in here and your money can go a lot farther than anywhere else. And that's why with Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates, Seeing is believing. Oh, I like that, yeah. Stevie. Well done. <laughs> Hi again. We really appreciate you staying with us for more Explore Tulsa. Stevie, how many different hats are you planning on wearing this week? As many as I can, Trish. Hats are great for helping you change your personality completely, feeling like you're someone else. You mean like an actor? Exactly. Right. Now I may be suave and debonair, maybe a jazz musician or a mobster. Let's leave the acting to the professionals, like our very own Taylor Mosby, who's growing into her own in Hollywood. I probably got started in acting, I mean plays and stuff, when I was six, back to actually doing TV. More around 10 or nine. Whenever I would see something on TV, I would memorize the commercial and just do it all around the house. And so I tried out for Annie and then from there it just kind of worked out. <laughs> She used to go to Ava Maria, the lady that took care of us, and said, you know what, this kid is really, you know, advanced. You know, she's talking and, you know, she's, you know, she's really good and she's comprehending a lot of things, you know, and they were like, you really should think about doing something with her. I never thought about it at the time, but as you go on, you think, you know, I remember, you know, people saying, you know, hey, she has the it factor. I do much Well, I did just a small Oklahoma natural gas commercial and then I did an OERB commercial and it was so fun because waking up early in the morning just excited the heck out of me. <laughs> well, it's completely different from Oklahoma, that's for sure. The weather was different, the people were different, traffic was different, but I felt as if I was like a celebrity. I was like, well, I'm in California, people. <laughs> it's a nice little feeling. Well, what if I feed it? When you're in Oklahoma, it's more of a family feel. You know, it, it's home. It's gonna always be home. LA is more of one of those places to where you really have to you know, know where you're going. I did a short film. That was the first thing. That was one of the reasons I flew out to LA. I did that and I said, come on, Christina, let's go. <laughs> I felt like a cartoon.
It was a family reunion movie. The first part, I was running through the house because my brother was chasing me with a spider. And then in comes grandma telling me to sit down on the couch and then I got in trouble, even though I didn't do anything, which sounds like my life crazily. I did a show called Twisted and I was um, the younger version of the lead role. That was probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. We had to run through the woods and they built us a tree house just for the scene. It was just, I was so, I felt so honored. The next role was an AT&T commercial that I did. And when I did it, I had to eat a Brussels sprout. I ate about, what, five million Brussels sprouts that day. I loved, loved Brussels sprouts. But after that day, I was kind of done with them for the rest of my life. Yes, the middle. It was really cool because I got a trailer. That was one of my first trailers that I got. And so when I got it, it there was food and this freeze dried and healthy vegan lemonade. It was just mind blowing. I got to meet a lot of stars and of course my mom was just taking pictures left and right. Well, I don't know if it was illegal or not, but it was really fun to meet all those stars. Wow, there's just so many people. She's met Willow Smith, Romeo, Romeo, the little singer. And so she just means she's met uh, Evelyn Champagne. She met her at a, it was a venue that she was actually singing for Evelyn Champagne. She met her there, so it was really exciting. And typically, I have to make sure that I stay connected with the character, as they would say. Or they would say, don't let Hollywood get to your head. Many people say that. But that would be one of the common things that they would say to me. You know, I just hope that she continues to enjoy it and to embrace this opportunity because uh, a lot of kids don't really have the opportunity. And when you get the opportunity, I think as long as she embraces it and she wants it and she has that desire, we're gonna support her. I would wanna be in the type of movies, kinda hero action movies, but I would also like to be in comedies. Cause drama, drama's really cool, but you know, it's easier to laugh than cry. Just in my opinion. Well, I would say be prepared for the worst. Not like the sky is falling, but just be prepared for rejection because 10 no's can equal one yes, or 10 no's can equal 11 no's. But just be prepared for the worst and always keep your head up, always. Taylor is such a sweetheart and a great little actress. You know, I taught her everything I know. Luckily, she has other mentors. But since we interviewed Taylor, she's appeared on the CBS crime drama Criminal Minds, two episodes of the NBC sitcom About a Boy. And on January 24th on Nick, she'll appear for a second time on that hit show, Nicky, Ricky, Dicky, and Dawn. <laughs> Try to say that three times. Congratulations to Taylor. But you know, we wouldn't be able to enjoy the TV programming that we have today if it weren't for the radio shows of years gone by. We'll have to jump into the Wayback Machine, Mr. Peabody, and visit with the king of old-time radio himself, Joe Riddle, when we come back with more Explore Tulsa. Hello, I'm John Erling with Voices of Oklahoma, and our great state has been home to countless individuals whose place in history has been earned through each of their many individual accomplishments. Voices of Oklahoma's mission is to preserve their story in an oral history presentation like none other. Accounts direct from famous Oklahomans, political figures, and many others who have left their indelible mark on the development, history, and future of Oklahoma. So please, treat yourself by listening to those who are the Voices of Oklahoma. Looking for a new home entertainment experience? Well, hi, and welcome to Video Revolution, Tulsa's best in cutting-edge electronics. Professional, highly trained home entertainment experts. Video Revolution's been serving Tulsans for over 25 years with name brands like Sony, Clips, Definitive Technology, Samsung, and so many more. Great selection, price match guarantee, custom installation, expert assistance equals home entertainment success. See for yourself. The Video Revolution showroom features the largest selection of flat panel TVs in all of Oklahoma. Plus, the latest in 3D entertainment. Highly trained home entertainment experts on hand. Professional delivery, installation, and service after the sale. And the best selection of name brands. Visit us online at videorevolution.com and find out more about everything we have to offer. Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. 
If you're like me, always exploring Tulsa, you never leave the house without a hat that could pose as a disguise. That is you to a T, Stevie. Mr. Inconspicuous, your character stands out so much. I bet you even got recognized when you used to be on the radio. Yeah, but people always tell me that I sounded much taller. Well, there was a time when we didn't know what many of our favorite entertainers looked like because they were all part of the golden age of radio. When I was a kid, I loved comic books, and so I would read comic books. And then in 1973, I was at my grandmother's house, and I was tootling along the radio, doing what people who were interested in radio would do. They call it DXing, listening for stations a long way away. But I picked up KGGF in Coffeeville, and at 6.15 in the evening, they were playing a radio show called Lum and Abner about two old men who ran a convenience store in a town called Pine Ridge, Arkansas. And just these two men talking. And I was like, what is that? So I ran and got my grandmother and brought her back. And I said, you know, Mima, what is this? It was on this very radio, actually. And she said, oh, that's Lum and Abner. That was on the radio in the 40s. And at the end of it, they said, well, tune in again tomorrow night for Lum. I said, all right, I'll tune in again tomorrow night. So I collected my money from my Tulsa Tribune paper route and bought a radio with a cassette player in it. And I hit record and play every night at 6.15 and started collecting old radio shows. Finally, I got to a point where I had a pretty substantial collection and I could trade with other people and dealers and I would have something they didn't have or they whatever. Then I started looking for the transcription disc, the big 16-inch records, and started collecting those. And if you had a rare one of those shows that nobody had, you could parlay that into 20, 30 shows from somebody so they could get that show. But once it got recorded and it was out there, it went around the circles and everybody got it. You don't know what people remember. And for people of my age set, we remember Bob Hope and Jack Benny, uh, people like that. Um, but there were great performers on the radio like Orson Welles, who did Citizen Kane, the movie. Marion and Jim Jordan, who played Piver McGee and Molly. Chester Locke and Norris Goff, who played Lum and Abner, and Freeman Gosden and Charlie Carell, two white men who portrayed two black men on the radio. In the 1920s, they started. They were on the air in Chicago as Sam and Henry, and then they, they moved, went nationwide as Amos and Andy, the number one radio show of all time. Still the number one radio show of all time. And blacks and whites both loved it. The blacks loved being represented on the radio, and the whites loved the comedy. And it's still loved today. And I still play the show today. It's another Sunday night all across America and right here in Tulsa. I always said when I did this show, I didn't want to make money doing it. I just wanted to pass this art form down to future generations. And the great thing about radio is the theater of the mind. Because you can hear a compelling story with a boogeyman in it. And that your boogeyman is the worst boogeyman in the world. And mine may look completely different, but to me, it's the worst in the world. But you got to use your imagination with these shows. You know, they were brilliantly written, performed, and the ones that still survive today, they, they stand up to the test of time because they were good, and it was a great art form back then. Fortunately, there are people who have recorded them on different types of media, um, like I said, I wanted to be able to pass this down to future generations, which I've been able to do through this show. I've had people call me who were kids back in 1983 and 4 who listened to Jack Armstrong, the All-American Boy, and, can, and now their kids are listening to it. So what it means for me now is I did what I wanted to do. I didn't care. I didn't want to make money off of it, get rich or anything like that. I just wanted to pass it down to future generations. And fortunately, I've been very lucky in being able to do that. I love those old radio shows, especially the writing. Writers back then had to paint a picture with their words in order for each comedic element or plot to work. To hear for yourself, look up Joe Riddle's old time radio show on Facebook or listen in Sunday evenings at 6 p.m. on AM 970 KCFO. I know a place where you can probably even find an old time radio to listen to Joe's show on. Oh, sounds like you're talking about shopping at Mike's Mantiques and Old Pink Truck. That's our next stop when Explore Tulsa comes back. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Robert Zellner here. 
For over 20 years, I've offered affordable, convenient eye care in Tulsa. Right now, you can get one pair of glasses or contact lenses starting at just $99 or my two-pair deal for $129. Hey, and as always, the eye exam's included. Walk-ins are always welcome. Glasses are ready in about an hour. Plus, we have over 2,000 frames to choose from. We're open seven days a week. Come see why we're voted Tulsa Best. And our drive to at 69th and Memorial makes pickup simple and easy. For the best eye care value in Tulsa, Dr. Robert Zellner and Associates. At Video Revolution, we've got today's 3D technology. Smart TVs. And I can help you pick the one that's a larger size TV. We handle it all here at Video Revolution. Now people can get a 90-inch TV. Hopefully only an operator. Now coming up on a 30-year anniversary. Customer service is our priority. We have our own service center. It just brings back enjoyment to watching TV. And now it's affordable for everybody. And we sell fun stuff. It's like toys for big kids. The customers that come into Video Revolution are blown away. What do you think? This is the hat I wear when I go antiquing. What's so unique about that hat? This, with some torn jeans and an old shirt, makes me look like I don't have any money. <laughs> Why don't you just pin your paycheck to your shirt? Done that, but people just laugh at me. Well, when you shop at Mike's Mantiques and Old Pink Truck, you'll find collectibles priced for everyone to enjoy. When I was in my early 20s is when I started kind of collecting stuff and uh, motorcycles was the big deal. I always wanted a motorcycle and couldn't have one and uh, when I got old enough where I could kind of thought I could afford one, I couldn't, but I, I could afford some parts so I started and just built my own which is that one out there on the sidewalk I've had for 20 years. Well I grew up uh, with parents that absolutely loved antiquing. So if we were on a family vacation or whatever, they'd stop at old broken down abandoned uh, homes and barns and we'd all be searching for little things here and there or stopping at antique shops and so I just kind of grew up with it and it's in my blood and later in life I ended up doing the exact same thing I found myself searching for neat things at sales and estate sales garage sales Mike's Mantiques I've had for quite a while and uh, the old pink truck was her thing and when we started to open the store we thought well we need to find a name just one common name we couldn't come up with anything that we liked and we didn't want to lose our own identity so we just kept both of them but we work great together we have a lot of fun when we're not in the shop we're out running around looking for antiques and always out looking and searching so well we started accumulating a lot and then we were meeting more and more people that loved doing it and loved buying it and we were buying and selling and then uh, we've grown up in this area so we saw this space available, fell in love with the space and decided we wanted to share our passion uh, in the city that we love and you know on Route 66 so it just was a natural fit for us. Right now, uh, signs advertisement signs, um, gas and oil, um, pop, soda pop products um, are really hot right now. Everybody likes to decorate uh, their garage, their living room. Uh, we sell some car parts, some hubcaps, grills, uh, things of that nature that people like to decorate with. My favorite, we call it pick, that we've ever done, in my opinion, was when we were invited into the estate of a man's grandma that he had taken care of until she died. And he took us through her whole house and we got to see all of her, her treasures and a glimpse into her life. And he just shared all kinds of stories and we kind of fell in love with, her name was Wilma and she was one week shy of a hundred when she died. And so I got to, accumulate and uh, acquire a lot of her things and some of the things I took home I didn't bring to the shop because I was a little emotionally attached but I like to share the story of Wilma and stories like hers with customers because then it gives the piece that they buy meaning you know and a history behind it. Well I'm kind of a history nut I love love history and learning about things and I like um, things that people have had just general everyday use things that people 
have had and used, uh, it just has a story behind them. So I was always intrigued with history, so the, the antiques just kind of came naturally after that because it's something you could hold in your hand and kind of relate to the past. Jamie and Mike have some of the coolest stuff there, and they were actually playing records there when we were at the shop. They really do specialize in antiques. See for yourself. Visit Mike's Mantiques and Old Pink Truck at 1416 East 11th Street, or look them up on Facebook for daily specials. Why are you laughing, Stevie? <laughs> That's what my wife calls my underwear, Steve's Mantique. Stick around. We'll be right back for more Explore Tulsa. Hi, I'm Stephen Lee with Video Revolution. If you ever wanted great home theater sound and thought it was too difficult, I'm going to show you today how simple it really is. What you're going to find in the box is, of course, the Sonos soundbar that has nine speakers built into it. It's simple to set up. All you need are two cords, the power cord and the optical cord. One of the things about the Sonos soundbar that makes it so great with the nine speakers that are built into it, it gives you that cinema sound. Television speakers now are much smaller and people have a hard time hearing the dialogue in television. Okay, first, you're gonna take the optical cable that comes with it and plug it into the input of the sound bar. And then the other end, you will plug into the output of the television. Once your optical cable is plugged in, you're ready to go. You can go to Sonos' website for a free download of the app and with your iPad or your iPhone or Android phone, you can control the volume of your new Sonos soundbar. Go somewhere? No? It's as easy as that. Now that it's set up and ready to go, if you're ready for that home theater experience, just come in and see me and I'll show you how it's done. Be sure and join us next week when we meet sports broadcast legend Bob Carpenter. Special thanks to all those brave enough to ring in the new year at the Tater Polar Bear Plunge. Thanks, too, to Taylor Mosby. We wish you continued success on the big screen. And to Joe Riddle. We'll be listening for you on your old-time radio show on AM 970 KCFO. Plus, thanks to Mike and Jamie for showing us the sweet antiques available at Mike's Mantiques and Old Pink Truck. Remember, if you miss any of the show, you can always catch us at ExploreTulsa.com. As always, each week we feature the people, places, and attractions that make us proud to call Tulsa our home. Hey, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Share with us someone you think Tulsa should know more about. Plus remember, Explore Tulsa is brought to you by Video Revolution, located on the northwest corner of 71st and Lewis. Stop by, say hello to Ron and all the guys for your home entertainment needs. And Explore Tulsa is also proudly brought to you by Dr. Robert Zollner and Associates. Home of the two pair for a $129 deal with two locations. 3030 South Harvard and 69th and Memorial. Well, that's all the time we have for you on this week's show. But we'll see you next week right here on Explore Tulsa.